Hey what is up Eraser Sun here from Team AA and in this video we'll be showing you the new Android Pie beta build for the Nokia 8 which is released just a day before and I was busy in testing that out and making a review on it so I have updated to the Android 9.0 beta build which is quite nice and I really like the new UI changes as well. So starting off from the new change is the not launcher UI. You can see the smoother animations as well as the new UI which is pretty pretty basic and really really smoother than before. I really like how it works and the new icons are pretty dope as well. Also the new UI is pretty smooth and the second new feature is the new navigation UI. So you can see when I open apps, the animations are a bit different. But when I open the navigation button uh, by pressing it, you can see the new navigation is from swiping uh, from left to right. And it is really good, but I really like the previous navigation as well. You can clear all the apps in the multitasking window from clearing them all from the left. And if you wish to open the multitasking, by split screen you can do that as well the third new feature is the new notification panel the notif notification panel is a bit uh, rearranged and the icons are pretty uh, like standard for 2019 in the android pie and it, they are the same as the pixel phones and now you can turn on and turn off the mobile data within the settings of the uh, notification panel and that's really cool but one thing that is really different is if you want to see the other wi-fi networks you have to go to the settings by long pressing the wi-fi key in the uh, navigation panel which is a bit annoying the fourth new is the settings ui so the, all the settings are rearranged which i really like the new icons the previous were good as well there is nothing of a good change here, nothing of a bad change as well. A new net notification panel or new no new settings are here and it is not a big of a big deal or something really minor in the new UI and I have nothing to say about this. So now you are going to get smoother animations when you open any sort of apps just like the iOS and they are really good animations. This is my most favorite and most recommended thing if you want to update to Pi. You will see smoother animations as compared uh, to the previous Android 8.0. I cannot show you how smoother they are because you are watching the video in 30 frames per second and I cannot record in 60 FPS right now but they are really really smooth right now. The sixth change is the new Pixel 3 camera port which I just ported now from the website and they, it works really fine. The HDR works like amazing and the portrait mode is also a bit improved. The most improved thing is the dynamic range as well as the most anticipated thing which was the night side. The night side works flawlessly for the Nokia Air and I tested it out in the night and it works really fine. Uh, comment down below if you want to see a full review on the K K Pixel 3 board and which version is the best for the Nokia 8. What I'm going to talk about is the better battery management and it is available in the Android Pie build. I don't think so that it was not available in the Android Oreo because there is nothing new in the sa settings of the battery management. I think that FT battery management will be available in the full Pie build of the Nokia 8. The next feature we are going to talk about is the new sounds UI. So you can select uh, to silent or vib vibration mode for all of the sounds in the phone. If you click on the settings, you will see all the sounds, ring volume, alarm volume, call volume, as well as media volume. And I think it is a good shortcut and a nice gesture. The new phone on the lock screen looks really, really good. And it is a bit modern. You can swipe from a bottom to uh, select the lock screen menu and you can also swipe from left for the voice assistant and right from the camera respectively. So the files app is now replaced by the files go app which is a bit of a surprise. Uh, you can do the same things you did on the files as you can do on the files go and it is not much of a big deal but the files go is a bit more smoother experience for new apps. You can also see the new home settings. There is nothing new in it. So this was it for the video guys. I hope you liked it. And this is all the features which are available in the Android Pie build for the Nokia Air. 